Hello fellow crafters. What we've got today is a video on craft and creative bundles and how to use them with Affinity Designer to expand your creativity. Now this is making best use of bundles of SVG files usually by subscription for Creative Fabrica. Now this particular video focuses on the Creative Fabrica um, files. These are absolutely fabulous. There's so many files there you couldn't possibly use them all. And why bundles? Bundles of artwork like those from Creative Fabrica are a truly brilliant bonus for crafters like you and I. They can save hours and hours of design work and the sheer volume of things available can be truly staggering. So let's have a look at creativefabrica.com which I recently found. Let's just say, in save time, it's worth the wait. So, just about every craft type there is. So many, in fact, that this bundle comes in 15 downloads. The Mega SVG bundle comes in 7 downloadable files. Now, side note here, if you download from any of the links in the description below this video, I may earn a few dollars. Ooh wah, as it's an affiliate type of setup. But that's alright, I use these files myself all the time. They are absolutely marvellous. Ready made SVGs, EPS, PNGs, you name it, these files come in it. Now, let's have a look. Open Affinity Designer. Navigate to the folder where you've downloaded and unpacked your files and select an element. Now in this case you can see in the folder display there I've got EPS and PNG, second column from the right. There's elements, frames, patterns, wreaths and bouquets. Now I just selected number one in the PNG to show you what a PNG file looks like. Now you can see the dimensions in the right hand side there in the info. It's 300 pixels, 300 by 300 pixels. The dimensions of the file are 2071 by 1617 pixels. That's quite large. You don't want to go any bigger, of course it'll pixelate, but you can certainly go smaller. And that's plenty big enough to put on a mug or, or a transfer or the front of a t-shirt. Now that's just one flower. They're all combined, all the elements, in that EPS file. And that's what we're going to have a look at next. Now the EPS file is shown here. Go to the EPS list and there's 25 floral elements in one EPS file. And I'm sure you can deal with those easily enough. But in case you can't, here we are. And that's what it looks like. There's the rose you saw in the PNG and all the other elements that you can use are in that one EPS file. Now that's pretty, pretty much the same as an SVG file, but you might only want to deal with one. So pick an element. In this case, I'll first pick out a flower. So you open the layers panel on the side. You have to have the layers panel open. Don't bother highlighting everything in there, because you'll go crazy trying to find where all the parts are. Just select open all the layers. Don't click on the group, because they'll show up as a group. Open the group and just click on the first layer, for example. It doesn't matter which one, so long as you're in the layers group. Now go back to your main panel there and with the move tool drag out a bounding box around the flower you want to select. And you can see it's come out around that one there. That's the one I want. Now go up to the toolbar and go to edit and copy. Pretty straightforward. Now that file's not as big as you think and you may think that that's a giant flower. But in fact it's very small. That's just a 500 pixel by 447.4 pixel. And I've put it into its own file. Having copied the selected flower in the last exercise, go to File and New from Clipboard. It creates the new document for you. And there's the new document. You can see in the tab there you've got 25 floral elements EPS. And the left and on the right is, at the moment, untitled. Now that's the flower. As I said, it looks really big, but it really is only 500 pixels by nearly 500. And there you have 
just the one element selected. Now what I like to do, you can see all the elements, all the layers and curves that make up that, that file. Select all the layers and group them for tidiness. All of those layers are now in one tidy group and renamed. Save the file now as an Affinity Designer type file for future use. Now here are some guidelines I recommended. Decide what project you're working on. Search for and select the best bundle out of all the ones available on Creative Fabrica. Download and open the file you want. Now Affinity Designer will open all the EPS, SVGs and AI files you will see. There's a couple of other file types that it won't, DFX and a few other odd ones. But you can see on the right hand side there I've got the Mega SVG bundle and that's opened in the folder and you can see there's just hundreds of file types in there, files in there, dogs, arrows, monkeys, bears, fire, sewing bundle, bulldogs, trees, llamas, all sorts of strange things in there. So let's look first at the top one, the fishing bundle, right at the very top there. This one comes as SVG, also PNG, EPS and DXF, but we're just going to use the SVG one. It's important to remember there are other file types that you can choose from, but in this bundle we have the true SVG files that we want. So I've selected SVG and I've gone for fishing too, and that's a picture of a fishing rod. And that's an SVG file, very nice. Open it in designer. Perfect. This file, like all SVG files, is perfectly rescalable with no distortion. And it's already in a nice little layer over there on the right hand side. So you can colour it, do what you like with it. Too easy. Now let's have a look at some of the many other crafting design options available through Creative Fabrica. A really topical cup file for the flower power people in our midst. Let's load it into Designer and see it in all its detail. And you can see there, Let Your Dreams Bloom as an SVG. It's also a PNG, because you can use PNG files as standalone files. I'm sure they work as sublimation files quite nicely. Just print them out and burn them onto your mugs. And on the right hand side, you can see it, Let Your Dream Bloom Craft Design. Nice. No more struggling with design, just load it in, colour and send it to your cutter or print and sublimate directly. And you can see it's already on a transparent background. You don't need to worry about fonts because each individual letter is a curve already. You can colour your designs easily. Just use the move tool, drag out a bounding box around the word, let's your dreams bloom and colour them by simply moving the colour icon. That's all you need to do. Too easy! Now, remove all colour and turn the strokes into cut lines. And you can see I've done that with bloom. No colour at all there. I could have done that with let your dreams bloom, but we only needed it with one just to emphasise it. That's all there is to that. And I promised you a look at the Mega Craft Bundle. There's too many files to list, so here's just one. There's the Mega Craft Bundle, and you can see the downloads there. One, two, three, four, five, six, there's seven downloadable files there that make up that massive pack of things. Very nice. Now, open in Designer, the Bathroom SVG Bundle. A clean bowl is our goal. <laughs> a clean bowl is our goal. And there it is on the right hand side. Dimensions, what it looks like. Recolor or resize, whatever you like to do. But there's a good place to start. One nice clean design. Well that's it for this little tutorial. 
I do hope you've enjoyed a look at what you can do with these fantastic bundles. Have a look at the links in the description below. You will love it.